So we did on you too. All right, cool. So your face is there. Huh? Your face is there. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure it was. Because I was leaning in. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are right, you ready? Yep. All right, cool. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Exposure Runs the Podcast. We got an exclusive episode, live episode. Uh, we're happy to welcome back. You are our first returning guest. So that's, 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 a, that's a big thing. Uh, Officially, you are our fifth guest on when we first started out. We didn't even have this backdrop here, so that's mm-hmm. that lets you know the progression. That, that's, that was because of you, brother, so I really appreciate that. Um, when you came on before, you and your dad came on, you were um, headed to – actually, you were you had left within a week or two of the show, I believe, to head out to California. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you were in the sling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you – we won't talk about what you did to your arm. Yeah. I, you said it was basketball. I, I think it was something a little more. That's wild. That's yeah. Wild. Yeah, it's crazy. That's wild. All right, but we're going to chill. We're going to chill. Um, graduated from high school within a few days, headed out to California as a freshman, attended Pal, uh, Cal Poly University, uh, where you were going to start 30 out of 31 games. Yeah. That's kind of – it was a, it was quite like a handful of y'all that got onto a college campus. The expectation, at least from the outside looking in, didn't – wasn't going to be that freshmen were going to get an opportunity, but you went and you started 31, 30 out of 31 games. Um, in those uh, 30 games, well, 31 games, uh, you scored a career high 22 points versus Long Beach State, uh, 310 total points as a freshman. First career double double came versus Hawaii, uh, 11 points, 10 rebounds. You have 11 career double doubles as a freshman. I didn't you didn't know that? that? No, I don't know. You didn't know that? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. 11 career double doubles. Uh, played a career high 48 minutes versus Oregon State. Do you remember that? No, of course. Okay. Um, <laughs> finished with season, season averages of 31.7 minutes a game, 36% from the field, 40% from the three point field, although that percentage hit 49% after right around January, after January or February. Um, 4.4 rebounds per game. You led the team in rebounding as a guard. You were a guard, but led the team as rebounding. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, 1.5 assists to go with an average of 10.1 points per game. Let's welcome. Let's re-welcome Quentin Jones back to the show. Thank you for coming back. No problem. I, I appreciate you being back, brother. Like, it really means a lot to me. Um, now, before we jump into a few questions, I want to confirm and make it clear uh, you will be making your official announcement where you're planning to transfer um, today. Yes, sir. You ready to make that announcement? Yes, sir. You want to do it now or you want to wait towards the end? Like, um, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Yeah, we can do whenever. All right. All right. All right. I'll wait to the end. I may, 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 yeah, I'm going to make the people wait a little bit. That's okay with you? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, first thing, my first question is um, – Tell us a little bit about the weather. Uh, that was the major difference between uh, Chicago and California. What was what was that like out there? Um, it was definitely hotter. You know, we ain't got to wear coats all the time. It don't get that cold. Um, compared to other places in Cali, though, like it's not it's not what everybody think like like it's like, like oh, hot all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, like yeah. we got some rain. We got uh, we bought the ocean, so it's it's always cool. But yeah, like when you, when you get sun, get out though. I mean, obviously it ain't humid, so it's enjoyable too. It's enjoyable. Yeah. Okay. Um, describe the campus. What what is paint us a verbal picture of what that campus is like out there? They got the the number one. I guess it's like number one ranked campus or most beautiful campus or something like that. But yeah, the campus that. is very nice. Like it look, yeah, it's nice. Okay. What, yeah. what what was your favorite thing about the campus at the time when you were there? Uh. I don't know. Okay. Well, none specific. None just, specific. Just All cool. Right. Just liked it. What, what was your hardest class? Who was your favorite professor? My hardest class, math. Yeah, math is <laughs> math was giving me problems. We talked about that before. Yeah, <laughs> math was giving me some problems. Kicking your butt out there. Yeah. Was it? Was it? Uh, it was. What was it like? A like a, a basic math type of deal. It was a uh, yeah pre calc. Okay. Pre calc. Okay. Um, once you got to campus and started to miss home, now shout out to your mom, Miss mm-hmm. Lisa. Shout out to your dad, Quincy. Who did you miss more, mom or dad? Both of them. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> nah, you got to pick. Who my sister. Your si- I knew you was going to say, and I knew you was going to say your sister too. I knew you was going to say your sister. That's what's up. Uh, what was that first week of uh, campus like when you first got there? What was that first week um, like? It was chill. I mean, there was like, you know, they, they, there would be some parties and stuff like that. Everybody was kind of just getting outside. But, uh, yeah, it was chill, really. It wasn't that, that crazy. Okay. Uh, tell us about the conditioning for the season. Tell us, like, the team base and what was, uh, like, cue base, meaning um, how did the team prepare you versus how did you mentally prepare as the season was approaching? Um, so, I mean, we, we got out there. We had uh, we had some conditioning, like, like every other week we'd do conditioning. Mm-hmm. But it'd be every – the first week was every day outside on the track. Um, obviously, I was in the sling and everything, so I had to get back right, get my shoulder back, go, go on a PT. Um, so I was out for a little bit, but then we start uh, ramping it up. We started off in the summer. We started off with the with the conditioning, kept that going throughout the whole summer, and then when we went back for school to start, um, we had a boot camp. So team had a, a team boot camp uh, all week. Got through that, and then it was just go time. Just really. go time just for trying me. To, trying to really uh, get on the floor for real. How did the upperclassmen treat you? Like, did they make it hard on you? At first, at first, yeah, it was like, you know, everybody got that. Especially when you older, you don't want no freshman coming in, getting on the floor. So, did you, you know, feel that? They gonna, yeah, they going to they gonna try to get on the floor first. They feel like they're entitled to get on the floor. So, mm-hmm. of course, I mean, that's how it's supposed to go. You're mm-hmm. not going to just let no freshman just come walk in. But for me, like, you know, like, I knew what I wanted, so I'm gonna go get on the floor and, and do what I do, and, and it worked out. But um, yeah, I feel like that that helped me too, cause I had people that that I'm really competing against, and, and so yeah, that helped me for Keep sure. Yeah. Uh, talk about those practices and, and lifts on that level. Yeah, um, the lifts, the practices. Um, it's not for me. I'll say for me, it wasn't really that that much of a difference. It was, it was, it was like. Physically, it wasn't, but like having to like learn and understand the mm-hmm, game, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like from like a in yeah like a smart way. Like it's not just who can run the fastest and, and it's that. Like you got to really be smart. You got to have some IQ to really understand like how to get it done. And so I feel like uh, that That's was something I had to learn. That's interesting that you say it's that. So more, like it's more mental and, and really understanding it than it is just physical. Just doing it. Yeah. Now physical, you still got to be able to. That's where that weight room and everything coming to play, having to being able to last throughout the season. Like now you got to be able to do that throughout the whole season. I feel mm. like that's something that I'm gonna be better prepared for it this time around because now I know. So what would you say, speaking specifically to that and, and kind of expanding on that, when you go to your next spot and obviously it'll be some freshmen coming in there, mm-hmm. what advice would you give them to be able to get over that hurdle? Uh, enjoy the process. Like, don't don't think because you got a bad practice or you coming from a high a high high school team. Don't think like when you come in and you ain't and it ain't happening right away that that you should just like that should make you just keep going up. Like you got to keep going, keep doing it every day, getting something from it every day. Like it was days, it was days I ain't really do nothing, but. But I knew that, like, I learned some stuff. Okay, okay. Like, I learned, like. So whether you, like, made an impact in practice, right. you learned I something. I might not have did nothing big, but, like, like I'm more, I'm more that's one more day of being more comfortable. So now the next day around, like, I'm going to learn. Like, I just learned from yesterday. So I'm going to come apply it and try to do better today. Now I'm probably going to learn something else. And that's what that whole summer really was, was me getting acclimated with everything. Um, talk a little bit about being back at the bottom of the totem pole. Like when you came from Marion, you 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 came out, you know, respectful, respectfully mm-hmm. uh, to the other players. You came out the man. Yeah. And so like you kind of had to start at the bottom of the totem pole. What was that like? That was something that uh, it kind of like it's kind of it wasn't that uncomfortable because like I, I've been there before, so like I knew what I had to do, and I knew like it wasn't going to be easy. It wasn't going to be given to me, but. Like I said, every day I'm coming out there, I'm learning something every day. And and that just me climbing up that pole until we finally get to the top. To the and, top. And now, I, you know, like, now we're just going to keep building from there. Um, what game do you <laughs> remember it, like, really clicking for you? Was it a practice? Was it a specific game where you, like, I could actually play on this level? Yeah. Um, it was some practices where toward we, we would scrimmage. Uh, we had some, some days uh, – like designated for a scrimmage and we had refs come out it was like a, a couple of days of practice and that's when I started really getting comfortable and 
once the season really hit, there was a first uh, first few games like th- where where the first few games that I actually like started to feel like you know like I got this. Um, yeah, we had St. Thomas game, San Jose State. Those were some two two games, and um, where I really felt like you know I could do this. Like I'm getting the hang of it for real. How soon from your feeling of you could do that did your teammates start believing in you? Was was it around the same time or mm-hmm. was it two different times? Yeah, it was the, really the first game that the first game that I took off. Seventeen again, San Jose State, mm-hmm. and that's when they really saw it. Like me so and another guy. player, yeah, me and another player got an interview, or whatever, and we come back to the locker room. And they like, like they knew, like they already knew what it was. <laughs> so it's like now they kind of and and I like big shout out to all my teammates because like they, they there wasn't really like a lot of hate like people who seen like a freshman coming in is like you know that that gotta be terrible feeling like mm. like everybody is expecting to play it and when a freshman come in it's like you might not feel you might feel some type of way about it but but that's big shout out to them because they was never like feeling some type of way about it and, and they was always supporting me and helping me out too because like i was still young i came in there learning from them and they kept on they kept they kept feeding into me when you when you talk about that like you know obviously when you eventually began starting you obviously unfortunately had to take somebody's spot mm-hmm. that person like what was did y'all ever have a conversation or like what was his support what did his support look like mm-hmm. um there was obvious that he wasn't happy about it but it was never nothing personal mm. and that's what i liked about it is because he was always still there that if i need to have a conversation with him i was there or and we played some we played uh a team that you know he had familiarity with and we lost but it was a close game and, and you know i texted him after the game like like we almost had him bro like because that's like my big homie because like i get there and i'm asking him questions mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. so it's still like a respect level and i feel like he never there was no problem there was no yeah mm-hmm. none of them did that that's good um when we talked to you the first time and you decided on kyle Polly, um you and your dad you guys talked about the reason that you decided to go there they showed interest in you they showed how much they wanted you did you feel that when you got to campus yeah I definitely did. No, the, the coaches was great. Um, never, it was never no complaint with them. They was always up front with me. They did everything they said that they was going to do. So I really appreciate all my coaches for that. Okay. Um, how much did that coaching change um, going to the, your decision to decide to transfer? A big decision. Um, you know, I kind of went out to. Um, no, nah, I would just say that. Okay. Uh, yeah, it was a big decision okay, for okay, sure. Okay. Um, also, in your first interview, you mentioned the recruiting process. Obviously, you had to go through that all over again with this situation. You talked about how stressful it was. Was this time more or less about the same? More stressful? Less stressful? Uh, less stressful. Um, cause uh, when you coming out of high school, you don't really know what to expect, and I feel like I was just a little more comfortable coming around this time, where it's just like. I'm like I'm all right. I'm gonna be all right. I know I'm gonna be all right. right. Whereas like you coming out of high school, I, I had well like six offers. So it's like if these don't work out, like what I'm gonna do? Like you know, like I'm still shaky. But but this time around, you know, I was a little more relaxed with it, and I kind of um, knew what to do and how to talk to these coaches and everything. Mm. So you understand? Yeah. You understood more of the business side of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Again, in our first interview, you said one of the biggest things that you wanted to work on heading into college was consistency from three, being able to make shots when you're tired and your strength. You finished the season 40% from three, almost 50 in a stretch run. Uh, would you say that you accomplished that goal? Yeah, I definitely <laughs> accomplished that three-point goal. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you were there, who who guarded you the toughest um, in some of the teams that you played? Oh, uh the teams we played, yeah. Um, it was this, it was this one guard from Riverside that was like, I don't know. I think he he was just that might have been their game plan for him was like you focus on him because that he was guarding me tough the whole game. Like, so that that's probably one of the games Riverside was a game they was okay. guarding me tough. Um, again, goals that you mentioned, you uh, wanted to help the team improve their winning percentage. Unfortunately, that was a goal that wasn't met. You wanted to be a starter. You did check that off. And then also you mentioned um, wanting to become um, freshman of the year. Um, 
of all the goals that you set, what and the ones that you may not have set that you mentioned on the show, uh, what what goal do you think you accomplish the best out of all of them that you set out to, and some that you may not even realize that you wanted to accomplish? Starting, that's probably the biggest one because. Like I said, like I came in looking looking at other people for advice and and you know what do I do here and asking a lot of questions and I that that went throughout throughout the whole season but like towards the end of the season now I got people coming asking me like for advice and and, and stuff like that oh, wow. and I feel like I feel like I stepped into a bigger role and and I want to carry that on but like I feel proud of myself for just the progress I made and everything like that. Okay. Um, all right. Well, you know, we are here for one reason. I, I, I I'm, I'm trying my best. You see, buddy. I see, buddy. Buddy is going crazy. I see, buddy. And, and, and I feel like he, <laughs> I feel like he want, he don't know me. Yeah. And he don't really know our platform. And so, like, the initial, my initial, when I first saw it, was to kind of like, yeah. Like, really go at dude. He on like number four right now. Yeah, I see it. I, yeah, I see it. I see it. I, see, I, I've been watching it. <laughs> I've been watching it, and so I'm, 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 I'm. We're, we're, this is something new for all of us. Yes, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I want to remain professional, but, but, buddy, you want my attention? I see you, Fat Chucky Thirteen. I, I see you. I see what you're saying, but we, we about to get to it, buddy. Like you could have logged off a long time ago. <laughs> and caught a real. And caught a real or caught <laughs> Quentin's um, uh, graphic when he yeah, yeah. when he said it. Like yeah, you, you didn't have to. Yeah, you ain't had to stay on. But I'm I'm gonna try to remain professional. But I I do see you, homeboy. All right, just so you know, I'm sure that's the attention that you wanted. So there you go. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, I appreciate everybody that's that's kind of stayed the course with us. Obviously, but uh, we're here for one reason. Uh, now for the long-awaited reason why we're here, uh, there are currently upwards of 2,000 players in the portal. After a very successful freshman season, you happen to be one of those 2,000 players but you are officially taking your name out of the portal with your announcement today. So, sir, we're going to go ahead and turn this thing more towards you, and we want to allow you to make it the, uh, to, to let the people know where you are deciding to play college basketball next season. Yeah, so next season I'm um, committing to uh, NIU. Um, yeah, Coach mm -hmm. Berno, thanks, Coach Berno, Coach Gladstone, so – yeah, I'm with the Huskies now. Okay, shout out to uh, shout out to NIU. Congratulations on that. Yes, sir. Now, I purposely, purposely did not ask your dad. I did not ask you because I wanted to be just as um, surprised and just kind of appreciate this whole process. But let me tell you, right before we logged on, a dead giveaway was one of the coaches jumped on. You don't know why. <laughs> No, he li actually he liked the graphic. He liked the graphic, uh, and he started following me a while back. Uh, uh, a while back, he started following me. I forget what the coach's name is, so shout out to him. Um, I, I do. I should go and, and look to, to be more specific, but I said to myself, mm, I wonder if this is the school that he's deciding. But uh, why the Huskies? Uh, yeah, like I said, the coach was real upfront with me. Like they was the ones out of kind of out of all the out of all the schools, they was really. Um, focused on me and, and, and really showed me a lot of attention. Like I feel like that that kinda went a long way. Um yeah, like I said though, he was real upfront. I I really liked the the visit. I went on a visit too. Mm -hmm. The visit was mm -hmm. nice. I liked the visit. I liked the campus. Everything about the facilities, the coaches, it was all good. So um, how much did that yeah. being a little close actually a lot closer to yeah. home play into it? That's nah, a that's, lot closer to that's home. That's crazy. From Cali to an hour away ain't Nah, you can't beat that. Yeah, because you ain't got to take no flight. Nah. It's just an hour drive. Now your mom and your dad and your sister get a chance to come to some of them games. Yeah. You excited about that? Mm -hmm. Like, your, that smile just like yeah, the thought nah, of your mom. Talking crazy uh, still. Uh, he's uh, still yeah, talking uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, buddy? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he talk. He talk. Uh, that is too funny. All right, buddy. You can log off anytime you want. I should have blocked your goofball ass, but <laughs> see, now you're about to make me come out of character. I'm a chill. I'm a chill. Now, we we really happy for you, man. Like, you know, not just your mom and family, but, you know, people who've been supporting you. I, I, I saw Justin up on there. Obviously, he'll get, well, I mean, he came out nah, to one of Yeah. He came out to a game anyway, but like, you know, some of them guys, uh, you know, family, friends, peers, they'll get a chance to come out and, um, and, and see you play. Um, like, 
talk about that, like the, the excitement of just being able to look up in the crowd now, and it's particularly see your mom, dad, and your sister, mm-hmm. and possibly other family members, but some of y'all. Yeah, yeah, that's, they that's, all. I know they're gonna be pulling up deep, but yeah. nah, that that's definitely a great feeling. Like you know, everybody could come out, and they ain't gotta worry about buying plane tickets and everything right, like that. Right, so right. anybody who wanna come and. Um, Feel like that that's definitely something especially after especially after all we done did and everything like uh my dad my mom mm-hmm. rhymes they was really helping me so i like i thank y'all for that too but being able like being able to know like they're gonna be able to come out to the games and stuff like that um especially after all the help and everything because i ain't do it by myself so like, like that's give something, something that back I to them. Something yeah, back yeah, to yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Now you know them ticket requests about to go out, right? I know they about to go. So crazy. how you gonna deal with that? How you gonna deal with those ticket requests? Like, you gonna put people in the lottery hear, system? Nah, I just ask my teammates, like, just send me out tickets. <laughs> that's what we used to do at Cap High. Just send me out tickets. So hopefully, I got enough. You, in a situation like that, and I, I know it's different from school to school. Like, how many tickets are usually allocated to a player? Basically, mm. we had Cal Poly. We had four for each home game. So. Okay. Four for each home game, two for away game, like per player. So like we just send if if ain't nobody coming to the y'all ain't got nobody coming. If somebody got just a lot of people the, coming, just pass, pass that them on. over. Okay, yeah. when All we right. but like the the boys from Cali when we uh. When we go to they, they the hometown hometowns. and stuff, all their family will come out. So they're like, hey, y'all send y'all tickets. Okay, and okay. And send them through. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mar- Marlo, I'm trying not to, bro. I'm I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to chill, trying to be, uh, you know, a, a lot more calm like, like like Q is up here. But, man, my, my homie was definitely pushing my buttons. I ain't even. Be quiet. Now probably gone. Yeah, good. <laughs> like, keep his goofball. I'm going to find him and block his. He probably slow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me check. <laughs> Let me chill. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not cut out for the for the prom yeah, time. Man, I'm yeah. not cut out for the prom time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why, bro? Some folks say what are you talking about? <laughs> like this got to be somebody. Anyway, no, nah, I really, I, you know, I don't want to take too much of your time. Um, I, I really appreciate you um, giving us this exclusive opportunity for you to, uh, you know, mention where you're going to play school out, uh, play school ball at next year. I know your mom and dad is really proud. Yeah. Um, shout out to, well, first of all, let me shout out your dad real quick, if you don't mind. Your, mm-hmm. your dad has been very supportive of the platform. Um, he continues to come to the showcases. You know, obviously as as a coach and. Um, he, I, I know for a fact that he's real proud of you. So, like, shout out to your dad. Shout out to your mom too. You know, your mom has been real supportive of you. Well, and of course, shout out to your sister as well. Mm-hmm, so, for sure, and your entire family. I know they're looking forward to that. Um, other than that, man, like I, I, we ain't got nothing else. Niu, y'all getting the, y'all getting the, Hooper. What's your, what's, what's your, what's your, what's your, give me some goals for next year. Um, winning season. Okay. Um, all conference. Okay. Yeah, that was the main goal. That was the main so, goals. Of course, you want player of the year, the dream. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So we gonna go for it regardless. But all right, so, all right, so yeah. instead of 30, 30, uh, 30 out of thirty one games, we going for thirty one out of thirty one. Start. Of, of course. Yeah. Okay. Of course. All right. Not an option. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was part of the conversation. Uh, what's up, Justin? Shout out to you, bro. Like I know he gave you a huge. Uh, part of his development in our last um the last time we we spoke he spoke very very highly of you all of your players they speak highly of you bro so shout out to you you're doing big things um appreciate you guys all tuning in we appreciate you stopping by and now you you guys are getting a real great young man basketball player you already know what y'all getting but just as a as a as a young man like y'all getting a great one man we we, we proud of you and we appreciate you young man. i appreciate you yeah definitely definitely yeah. all right y'all we'll check y'all out on the next episode